Okay, so this is sort of like a core vlog. Um, I am about to get braces on my teeth. This is actually my second time getting braces. And I decided that I want to document the whole entire journey. So this is like my first ever vlog doing it. I just left the orthodontics appointment. I am 37 years old. Um, I had my braces removed, um, I want to say four years ago. My son was two. He is now six. So I had him removed, and I wasn't a good patient. Um, first of all, I have a really big gap. And I have some spaces at the bottom. The bottom isn't isn't as bad as the top, but um, I was advised by my orthodontist that I should get this little this little piece of meat. It's a name to it, but I was advised that I should get that cut off um, during the end of my process with braces. But I opt out of that. I actually the the thought of getting it cut off it, it was it just scared me so she did explain to me that you know at any time you know your gap could come back open unless we do something more permanent um so like i said i had my consultation today and um we are it was between the invisalign or the traditional braces I, um, it's weird because my dental insurance will pay more towards the traditional braces versus the Invisalign. And also, I wasn't a good, good candidate with wearing my retainers, hence, that's why my gap came back open. So, I didn't really think that, um, the Invisalign would be good for me because I have a problem. If it's in my mouth, I will, I'll do great with it. I brush my teeth three times a day, floss, everything. But if it's something that I have to do, like putting them in and taking them out and everything like that, it will never happen. So that's why we're back at this point. But, um, like I said, I had my consultation today. Everything went good. Um, I will get my spacers um on my teeth today is november the 26th 2018 i will get my spacers on my teeth on thursday december the 19th so i'll need my spacers in between my teeth for roughly around two weeks so after uh, my spacers are in there around two weeks. Then I will go back December the 3rd after the first of the year. And that's when I will get my brackets and wires on the top and bottom. And that's when my um, braces, that's when my brace journey will begin. So I'm excited about this. Um, because um, I don't know. I just don't feel confident enough to smile with this big space in my mouth. It's my my fault that I let it open back up. But it, it, it went like one day I didn't wear, one night I didn't wear my retainer. That one night turned into two nights and then it turned into a week. Then all of a sudden it was a month. And then that month end up turning into years. I did see, notice that my space was opening up more and more and more. And um, it didn't really bother me because my son, he also has a space. And um, I just, you know, I just wanted to show him, you know, you don't have to feel bad about your space. Look, mommy has a space too. So, but, you know, it's it's at the point now where... He's losing all his teeth, and so he'll be getting a dental treatment coming up. So, 
in the next few years. So, um, yeah, I think it's at the time now where I just need to start my journey again and uh, be serious with it this time. I had a lot going on um, when I had the braces before. Um, I took my treatments and everything for granted. But after you spend so much money, you know, you tend to take good, you know, better care of things. So, I guess I matured in that area. But, again, I am 37. Um, this will be my journey of getting braces again for the second time. I actually documented it on YouTube before. And I deleted that channel because, I don't know, it was just... I just deleted it. I got tired of it. So, this is my intro video of getting my braces and more to come. See you guys then. Bye.